Uh, Assemblyman Conaway, as co-chair of NCSL's Special Health Summit, how would you summarize how states are responding to the reform provisions, wh many of which are going to take effect in less than 50 days? Well, as October 1st approaches, uh, the time when the federal government says that uh, more access to insurance will be available to those who don't have it, states are, depending on their approach to health reform, uh, taking um, you know, different approaches. If you're a state uh, where the federal government uh, is expected to come and run the health care marketplace or the health care exchange, uh, then uh, there is uh, certainly one approach taken in respect to the fact of the federal government's involvement uh, with uh, providing uh, access to insurance. If you're a state like Nevada uh, and California uh, and New York where you're running your exchanges, um, then uh, a lot of testing is going on to make sure that the interface uh, that uh, newly uh, or potentially insured people will need to use to get insurance, that that is working and that is integrating with the federal hub. Uh, a lot of uh, testing is going on at this time. Uh, both state systems and federal systems and the interface between those systems uh, are taking place at this time. And a lot of thoughts being given uh, to those states and a lot of states uh, on making sure that the um, that the coming of the health care marketplace uh, will be advertised uh, to their population so that people will in fact know uh, that this new um, uh, access is available to them. Great, that's very helpful. Um, as of January 1st, 2014, uh, they say that millions, maybe tens of millions of people will have different kind of coverage. Uh, do you think that that's on track as far as you hear? Well, you know, we were very fortunate to hear from uh, Secretary Sebelius uh, just a couple of days ago and who, was, who very confidently stated that the federal government will be ready uh, with uh, the exchanges for which it is responsible uh, and, uh, and that they will be ready to uh, take uh, information from those states uh, and give back information to those states that are running their own exchanges. And so um, uh, we're going to see a lot of activity, both uh, at the state level, at the federal level, uh, letting people know of the, um, uh, of the open enrollment period that's coming this fall. Uh, and <laughs> certainly the technical folks are going to be uh, very busy dealing with the inevitable glitches which will occur at the state and federal level as uh, there are interrogations uh, being taken place to deal with all of the new enrollments uh, that uh, will occur this fall as people seek to attain, many of them, to obtain insurance for the first time. Great, great, that's helpful. Uh, final question, Medicaid is now an option for states. Some states are uh, deciding to go with the, uh, the original provisions in the law. Others are looking for alternatives. Uh, do you see any uh, factors there? Well, you know, one of the things that NCSL has, uh, I think, uh, are, can very rightly take pride in is that we've been advancing the interest of states and, and maintaining uh, and achieving flexibility as we move into this uh, new era of increased increased healthcare access. Access. Look, one of the great things about our country is that we have the we have 50 uh, test tubes of democracy. We have 50 test tubes of reform. And NCSL, I think, has played a very important role in advocating uh, before the federal government of the need for flexibility, uh, so that states can um, move into this new uh, this new reform era in ways that suit their particular states, the ethos of their particular states, uh, and the, if you will, the, uh, the stance that the, pop that the people in their states have the respect uh, to reform, health insurance, uh, the role of government uh, in our lives. Uh, we have, we are going to see, and, I'm, and I, for one, am very excited to see uh, in the coming months and years how these various experiments will play themselves out over time. Right. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thanks.